Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And a young lady emailed me this file and she said she was having trouble with the circles and she was going to be able to do all the rest of it. And I thought I would help her out. I've already done it. They're kind of like interlocking circles in a way. They've got some gaps between them. And for the one I'm doing the video for, you're going to have to figure out how to, and I don't know if this flat spot is supposed to be there. Um, that's very easily done. Um, maybe it's just a bad photograph, but that, that can be cut off in these parts of the, uh, I guess these are the deer scopes. And I'm guessing you've already done this, so this is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, just a couple of things. You had your view set on normal. And that makes a lot of difference when you're looking at things. Um, see how sharp that line is? And you go to view and put it back to where you had it. It's just a little fuzzy. Uh, just a little jagged. But if you put it on enhanced, and I keep it on enhanced, I mean, it's just a pure, clean line. So we've already, so what I did, I made appropriate size circles and put them on the logo. All right, then we can move the logo out of the way, but you kind of need to keep it in the, in the frame of things. I tell you what, we'll, we need to move the whole thing off this page so I can see this. And I, uh, I didn't make sure the circles are perfect. I mean, uh, by top of page and they're they're close enough but maybe when you do it maybe uh, group these together and, and uh, put them to the top so they'll all be equal and, but this is I've, there are several ways to do this but this is the way I think it's the easiest for anybody to do let's take these two let's take these two bottom circles tell you what let's let's see how big this is it's uh, almost eight inches, so I'm going to put the nudge factor on nine and uh, nine inches. And I'm going to select these two circles, and I'm going to move them out of the way. Well, nine's evidently too far, but that'll work. And then I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool, and you're going to see why in just a second. And I fill it in, and then I'm going to move it over, and I'm going to left-click, right-click, let me let me get the picture out of the way a little bit more and then i'm going to take these two and i'm going to contour them and you'd have to play with this but just one step to the outside at 0.125 it's going to put a contour around there now we need to move that circle back with the nudge tool exactly where it was then we need to do the same thing to these two circles and it will only do one circle at a time. And you have to, because these are two individual circles, you have to fill them in with a smart fill tool to get them to uh, be part of this. And I actually smart filled that one twice. Then you can take these and left click like I did, right click, left click on fill, right click on red hairline. And then we can contour this just like we did the other ones. And you could play around with the, the thickness of the contour. Now let's move these back to where they were and we can actually get rid of our circles. I might keep one just for reference later. And this is what I would do. Select everything, go to range, and break the six objects apart. And then this is where you need to kind of have your logo close to know which way, if you want the logo right. So we have a solid line here and a space between it. So I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool, and I'm going to fill in that, and that, and that. And this is solid, so I'm going to fill in these two other pieces. And then this is not solid, so I'm going to fill in this. And... Do it like that. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the center. And then we need to kind of look at the logo. So that'll work for that one. Um, 
and it is a little confusing. I'm going to keep going on the other one. So on this one, we're going to fill in this, this, and this, and go ahead and fill in our other two markers, our other two sections. And then on this one, we're going to fill in this, this. Let me zoom in here a little bit. And we're going to fill in that and that. And then just look back on it. Let's zoom in here a little bit. So that one is going through this one. This one is through that one. So I think we're right with the exception of right in here. We need to figure out what to do. And we need to fill in the downward part with the spark fill tool. Then select it all and right click no, no outline. There's your interlocking rings. I believe they're right. Yes, they are. So there's your interlocking rings and you can, you can play with that contour and make it a little thicker, but I think we're dead on. And then just kind of move it back over your picture and voila. Now, I might make another video on how to get these barbs. Anyway, that's one way to make an interlocking ring. There's several ways. And the only problem is you've got some minute little lines in here, but they're going to all engrave away. I've done this before, and they will all just engrave over that. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.